Welcome. You're listening to The Aligned Self, conversations in creating a conscious and abundant life. This is Daniel DeNovi. I'll be your guide and host. Let's see just where we can take this. Hello, friend, and welcome back to the conversation. I had one of those moments where I had to take a note to myself. In the future, Daniel, do not set a launch for a course for a coaching program around July 4th. People kind of check out the world, at least in the United States, they are celebrating. And circumstances that I thought would naturally fall in line ended up not falling in line. And so... I had set July 5th as the start date for my Badass Manifester coaching program. I decided to extend that out until July 12th. And I did that for a number of reasons, but it benefits you, it benefits me. Because if you haven't yet taken advantage of enrolling yourself in the Badass Manifester course, there's still time to do it. And if you do it by tonight or tomorrow, there's an equally beneficial bonus that you're going to get. If you pay in full, you'll get a one-on-one coaching session with me. And you can find the link to that at yesdaniel.com. But today I'm going to talk about what it means to be a badass manifester. What are the attributes of a badass manifester? Now, I would think that this would be almost self-evident, and in my mind it was. But one of the listeners, Randy, reached out to me and he was a little upset with me. He was upset with the fact that I used the word badass, a word with such a negative connotation in the title of my coaching program. Now, I didn't think it was negative, but I do understand once upon a time, I didn't necessarily like the term. In fact, I had mixed feelings about it myself, but I realized that it was more about me and my response to it than actually the word itself. And so I kind of began thinking about that. And then you saw more and more people, peak performers, being addressed as a badass at what they're doing. It became a very positive term. But once upon a time, it was really used to describe a person operating out of their ego, self-serving needs. And I admit, too, even with the word ego, I used to have mixed feelings about that. Because at one time, I thought the ego was something to actually kill and do away with. Well... When you're out expressing yourself in the world, you realize that you need a certain amount of ego behind it. Something that says, I can do that. I'm the one to deliver. And especially the first time I stepped up and being paid to be a leader, I just declared myself a leader. And when you step into a role of leadership, there's a certain amount of... uh, audacity that you have to come from just to declare yourself a leader. Like, I can show you the way. Give me the damn torch. I will lead you to the promised land. And I love the whole concept of being a torchbearer. But while once upon a time it came from ego, when I actually stepped into the role of being a leader, it was taken on as a mantle because I knew I could get people through. But I didn't necessarily think I was the one with all the answers, but I was the one that could lead others, inspire others, ask others for their point of view. I had the group mind in my consideration. So in my enlightenment around the word ego, I realized that it can show up in one of two ways. Are you being used by your ego to prove yourself, to validate yourself, coming from an insecurity that you're not enough. This is where the ego really has a negative connotation. But are you using your ego to deliver onto the world, to do what you want to do, to do what you feel you need to do? When one is being used by the ego, it comes from insecurity. When one uses the ego, it's because they are comfortable in their own skin and there is nothing for them to prove. But I also know that every word that we use, every utterance from our mouth, is open to interpretation. And so that's why I decided in this episode, I was going to declare, I was going to set the definition of what it means to be a badass manifester. Now also know, this is the journey, this is the end of the journey that I want you to end up with as you're going through the Badass Manifester program. 
Now, if you don't know, the Badass Manifestor coaching program is an A to Z process of becoming a badass manifester, actually getting clarity and energy and the difference between frequency and vibration, actually embodying the aspects of being a manifester, a badass manifester. It's a six-week group coaching program. It's a standalone program, but it's inside the Nexus. So if you're in the Nexus membership, you have access to the coaching program. But let's talk about the attributes of being a badass manifester. What does it mean to me? And I'm declaring a lot of this, but it is across the board an agreement of what it means to be a badass in just about anything. The attributes of a manifesting badass. Number one is confidence. A badass manifester exudes self-assurance and confidence in their abilities, their ideas, and their choices. If you want it, you can have it just because you want it. They trust themselves and their capabilities, allowing them to take on challenges and pursue their goals with conviction and absolution. It's not a question of if, but when. It's not a question of maybe, but absolutely. This first attribute of confidence is a slap in the face of doubt, which stops just about every manifestation. Attribute number two is resilience. A manifesting badass displays resilience in the face of adversity. They have an ability to bounce back from setbacks, learn from failures, get up when they get knocked down, and persist in the pursuit of their aspirations. They realize that obstacles are self-declared, meaning that there's really no such thing. When something pops up that most people call an obstacle, It's actually just an item to handle. They view challenges as opportunities for growth and transformation. Remember, everything is always working out for you. Attribute number three is authenticity. A badass manifester embraces their true self and lives authentically. They are unapologetically themselves, without conforming to societal expectations or seeking the validation of others. You see, we manifest out in the world according to our ability to move forth, to move ahead, to forge away without the goodwill of others. Because the moment we seek the validation from outside forces, that means they control who we are, they control our behavior, they control how we feel. When we can operate independent of the goodwill, good esteem of others, then we have true power. We can be authentically ourself. A badass manifester expresses their values, their beliefs, and passions without fear of judgment. They never compromise themselves. Now remember, these attributes you do not need to embody on the front end of the program. These are the traits that we want you to imbue that you will have the ability to imbue at the end of the program. Attribute number four of being a badass manifester. A badass manifester possesses courage and is willing to step outside of their comfort zone. They embrace potential risk, confront their fears, and boldly pursue what they believe in. They are not afraid to challenge the status quo and stand up for what they believe is right. They recognize fear as something to handle, something to manage not something to stop them. A manifesting badass has a working relationship with fear. Attribute number five, self-empowerment. A badass manifester takes responsibility for their own life. They are response-abled and empowers themselves to create the reality they desire. They recognize they have the power to shape their own destiny to make the choices aligned with their values and take action to achieve their goals. If it is to be, it is up to me. And there is action involved in manifesting. I've touched upon this in the past. Let's say that the universe delivers a bundle of money at your feet. You still have to bend over and pick it up to claim it. Attribute number six. And I don't know if I told you on the front end, but there's 11 of these attributes. 
And if you'd like me to send you a copy of these 11 attributes, go to yesdaniel.com forward slash badass, and I'll send it right to your inbox. But attribute number six is independence. A badass manifester values their independence and autonomy. They are self-reliant and capable of making decisions. They take action without being overly dependent upon others for validation. They assert their individuality, and they make choices that align with their own desires and needs, regardless of outside conditions or influence. They are unreasonable, meaning that they take action without reason, simply because they choose to. They are always choosing their reality. Attribute number seven, compassion and empathy. Now, you might find this surprising of a badass to have compassion and empathy. But a badass manifester demonstrates compassion and empathy towards themselves and others. They recognize the importance of being gentle with themselves, expressing kindness, understanding, and support in creating a positive impact. See, too many of us are in the the throes of self-criticism When it feels like we've gone awry or astray, we tend to criticize ourselves. You stupid idiot, or you should know better. Instead, a badass is gentle with themselves, compassionate with themselves, recognizing what they're up to, recognizing what the intention is, and then looking at the result and making the appropriate changes or shifts in their behavior and their thoughts. With this compassion and empathy, they uplift and inspire others through their compassion and create a supportive environment. Attribute number eight is mastery. A manifesting badass continually strives for mastery in their expression, mastery in their thoughts, mastery in their emotional temperament. They have a growth mindset engaged in self-reflection and activity pursuing self-improvement, honing their skills, expanding their knowledge. They are dedicated to personal growth and becoming the best version of themselves. They are committed to self-mastery. This is important because many of the times when we create an intention out in the marketplace, we want to create something, attract something out in the world, it doesn't seem to be out there yet. We'll get all kinds of signals, all kinds of feedback from the world out there that it potentially just may not happen. And this is why we need the self-mastery to maintain the focus of our vibration and our frequency, regardless of what the marketplace is presenting to us. Number nine, integrity. A badass manifester embodies integrity and the alignment between thought, action, and emotion. They act in alignment with their values and their principles, maintaining honesty, transparency, and accountability in their thoughts and actions. How they be is congruent with their desires. Their desires are congruent with who they choose to be. Attribute number 10. A badass manifester is a trailblazer. The badass manifester is not afraid to forge their own path and challenge conventional norms. They understand the impossible is just something that hasn't yet been done. They are innovative, open, and choice-minded, and willing to explore uncharted territories. They are engaged in the epic adventure. They inspire others by pushing boundaries and creating new possibilities. Now, before I tell you number 11... I just want to talk a little bit more about the program. This program will change your life. It'll change your life in every aspect. It's not just about law of attraction. It's about creating your reality. I feel so strongly about it that I'm offering a 30-day money-back guarantee. It's a six-week program, but within the first four weeks, you're going to know if this is for you. You're going to know if you're getting results. You're going to start getting results from day one. But if you're one of those rare individuals that by day 30, you haven't got the results, you don't seeing anything for you, just tell me, send me a refund, and you'll get it with no questions asked. But if you're committed 
you're going to see results. You're going to see a huge difference in your life. So how do you get involved? Well, it does require a commitment. And there's a couple different ways of thinking about this, depending on what your orientation is, it could make a difference. On one hand, you can join the Nexus membership. And the Be a Badass Manifest Your Coaching program is actually one of the benefits of being in the Nexus. Or you can invest in the coaching program and as a gift, I'll give you a full year access to the Nexus membership. And inside the membership is not only the Badass Manifest Your Coaching program, but also the Intuition course, the Subconscious Mind Power course, all the videos from the Spiritual Adventure, and a complete media vault of different trainings, materials, resources. Not to forget the community where I'll be doing live trainings on a regular basis. And that's part of the bonus. Even though it's a six-week program, there'll be ongoing support throughout the year where I'll go in deeper aspects of advanced manifesting techniques all around supporting those of you that have gone through the Badass Manifester. So how do you get involved? You're probably asking, I can't hardly wait to get involved. Well, go to yesdaniel.com or click the link in the show notes. If you want to create a life by design, if there are desires that you want to manifest, attract into your experience of life, then put yourself in the Badass Manifester program. And that brings us to attribute number 11. You are a badass manifester not because someone told you, but because you declared it. It's a path you choose. So you choose it and you believe it. Then you walk the talk and talk the walk. Most people are not used to asking for what they want, declaring what they want, declaring who they are for the world. Most people live a life of haphazard construction, meaning that it's not chosen, it's just kind of pieced together along the way. I know that because that's how I lived my life for many, many years, until I chose who I wanted to be, until I chose the life that I wanted. Up until that point, I lived a life of default programming. A lot of knee-jerk, habitually learned responses that I just responded to life, I reacted to life. I didn't choose it. What I'm offering you is an opportunity to choose your life, choose your desires, choose your intentions, to be the person that you want to be, to have the life that you want. But it's not just going to happen by itself. You need to choose it. This is where you need to listen to your intuition. If this sounds like something that is appealing to you, then it is a part of you that's saying, I want to be in this. And remember, it's risk-free. Invest yourself in the program. If after 30 days it's not right for you, just ask for your money back. But I know if you invest yourself, if you commit yourself, you're going to see the possibility for your life within a week, two weeks into the program. You're going to be completely inspired and unleashed. You will be unleashed and unstoppable. Well, that's it. That's all I have to say in this episode. Again, if you want the list, if you want me to send the Badass Manifestor Attributes list directly to your inbox, go to yesdaniel.com forward slash badass, all one word, badass, or put yourself in the coaching program and you'll get it delivered as a matter of course. Until next time, this is your friend and host, Daniel DeNovi, urging you to follow your bliss. Live your life from inner signals. Be inner-directed as you engage in the epic adventure. <laughs>